Hey guys, uh, this is your favorite minister, uh, Pastor Henry Sam. Um, you know, on the screen, um, you can see that I have times of our day. We're living in a very interesting time. Uh, according to the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon says there's nothing new under the earth. Uh, but there are, uh, so what is happening in our lives, in our history, in our country, in the world, there's nothing new about it, but we've got to know what is going on in our lives. Uh, number one, it is going to help us uh, to target our prayers, you know, uh, specifically. And then we are also going to be abreast with time. Uh, so when we are interceding, we know what we are interceding for. Uh, the Bible says we should pray for our leaders, right? And uh, so uh, we have to know uh, uh, what is going on with those who are leading us now and those who have led us in the past. But we're going to be talking about current event. Now you may say, why Why are you bringing this up out from the sanctuary? You're supposed to be a minister. Yes, you know, politics and religion affect us. Whether uh, you voted for someone, whether you have exercised your civil liberty to vote for someone or not, uh, that person in office, his uh, law that he promulgate, uh, you know, will affect you somehow. And then religion, uh, you don't, uh, whether you are atheist, agnostic, Buddhist, uh, Hindu, Islam, um, um, Jew, Christian, um, Scientologist, uh, Mormon, or, or, or Jew witness, or even a satanic, whatever you are, uh, you are a religion if you don't ascribe to any of uh, the faith, the major faith as we know them. I believe that Christianity is the only way, but you are going to be religion to yourself. So these two major elements, which is religion and politics, affect us. And we need to know in the political sphere, in the political you know, spectrum, what is going on. And so even when you are about to vote, you are about to exercise your civil liberty, you know what line up with your ideology what line up, what policy that line up with your belief system. So this is why I think I'll, I'll find some time every once in a while, I'm gonna bring some of these things to our attention, okay? Uh, I call this times of our day. Let's uh, listen hey, in hey, together. Guys, no idea, like, and I'll explain to you one day that we should do a show just on techie things now that we don't have that <laughs> that uh, that river nat issue anymore. So I'm not gonna do a big weekend update yeah. Oh, let, let me come in here briefly. Um, Don Bangino, those of you who don't know him, uh, he's going to be having some very colorful language, uh, meaning, uh, I mean, he's going to curse every once in a while. And he said, well, why? If you know someone who curses, why, why, why are you going to bring him? You know, he's been giving this to us from the sanctuary. No, I want you to know that uh, he said he believed in God, you know, uh, and I sincerely believe him for that. Uh, but, you know, for me, the Bible says, let no filthy word proceed out of your mouth. So, but uh, I wanted to get behind that and let's listen. Uh, he brings a very good content. All right. All right. Let's listen in together. I think it's not a lot to talk about, except I did that speech, the first speech in a while at the Martin County where I live, Republican Party dinner. And let me tell you something. I'm going to get some of it, and I'm going to put it here. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So stay tuned to that. Okay. So I get a call from let's let's call him an unimpeachable source. Unimpeachable meaning someone with credibility, someone who knows. And they said, Dan O, your show last week about the special counsel hit job on Joe Biden. Everybody remember Robert Hur special counsel assigned to look into Joe Biden hiding classified documents. That was Robert Hur. We all know Robert Hur is a D.C. insider, connected insider. And I said to you that they really totally effed over Joe Biden. And I, the motive was escaping me because Robert Hur, by writing that Joe Biden basically has a mental disorder, that's just, in essence what they wrote. Joe Biden took these classified documents, but he's a feeble, senile old man who wouldn't remember, so we're not going to prosecute him. It, how anybody in the conservative movement didn't see from miles away this was a hit job was beyond me. 
Joe, it was an obvious hit. Now, when I don't know, I don't know. I was speculating, and I said, motive-wise, why would a D.C. insider, known for his D.C. connection, do a hit job on Joe Biden like this? And ladies and gentlemen, after the phone call, mine's absolutely blown. 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 Hey, do we have a thing for, like, my mind blown? Like, I've been absolutely torn up. Very true. That was very true. You guys are great. That was so true. Joe goes, <laughs> brilliant. The sound effects of the show. This show is so high tech. Folks, behind me is a TV screen. We have to, we do, we spend exactly zero money on effects on this show because if your content freaking sucks, nobody's going to watch it. Nobody cares how showy you look. So my mind was blown. We always do the bottom line up front, correct? Ladies and gentlemen. Did Obama put out the hit on Biden? Because the evidence is everywhere. Joe, you didn't know I was going there. Well, you think I'm so tired of the show. Well, I'm still. Did Obama, I shouldn't just say Obama. Did Obama slash Clinton Inc. put the hit out on Biden? Did somebody say to Robert Hur, hey, man, you know, you're one of us. He's not anymore. That's me. Want to have some fun today? Unflag it. Oh, unflag it. This is a quick unflag it. Unflag it. that sucker. So I get a call, right? And um, this, let's just say, friend who is in the know says, Dan, you remember this from the Spygate days and this and that and the other stuff? And he's like, uh, why do you... Let me step in here. I didn't cut off all that because... He's going to bring the content, but then, you know, in the process, he's sharing, sharing jokes and all that. So, again, uh, just I believe that this, uh, if I'm not preaching, uh, one of the things that I, I am so excited about is what is happening around me, what is going on in the world. Uh, I don't only listen to uh, the news here in America. I listen to uh, the BBC World News. So I get myself informed, get myself abreast of time of what is going on. So when I'm in prayer, I know who to pray for. I know how to pray for that individual. Remember, it is the Lord's wish that all come to know him. It, that is his wish. I believe that is why uh, the delay of the second coming of Christ even is still, you know, uh, not known to us because the Lord doesn't want any of his creation, those he has created in his image and likeness to spend eternity without him. So when, you know, uh, 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 ministers like myself are looking at some of these things, we look at humanity from God's perspective that, oh, do it, this individual. Also have to remember that all of us, you know, we were once sinners, right? Uh, you cannot, I always said, uh, uh, a prerequisite of a of a Christian of a Christianity is sin. That is a prerequisite. That's what qualify. That is a pre qualification. If you are not a sinner, you, you first have to admit that you are a sinner. You are unrighteous, and you have no standing with God. That's what ushers you into the realm of righteousness. Then you can that you acknowledge who you are without Christ. Then you embrace. You know because. My sin, your sin has been imputed upon him and his righteousness after you've acknowledged him, confess your sins, then his righteousness, he imputes us with that. So anyway, let's listen. I think that that and I said, oh man, that's a good one. Was Robert Hur, special counsel, the hammer for Obama Clinton Inc. signaling to the rest of the world, hey man, it's time to go. Tony, put up that New York Times thing, which <laughs> the bigger story about the New York Times thing. Well, <laughs> look at all these headlines. You think this is an accident? The challenges of an aging president. Mr. President, ditch the stealth about the hell. The question is not if Biden should step aside. It's how Democrats can no longer stay silent about Biden. You think you think that's all? You think it's all an accident? Who put? The special counsel hit out on Biden because by saying Biden was mentally incompetent to stand trial for a special counsel case where he unquestionably took classified documents. 
they put him in a spot, right? He has only two excuses or outs right now, Biden. And neither one of them is good. And frankly, I don't know which one is worse, and I hate the word frankly. Either Joe Biden is mentally incompetent and not a criminal, or Joe Biden is a criminal and not mentally incompetent. Is there is there any other way to describe it? Anyone else in the chat? I, I you know, I listen, a couple of people were being funny guys with me as they're like, option C, he's a criminal and mentally. I get it. That's probably the case. But I'm just saying, you understand from the Biden team, they're not going to admit to option C that, yeah, you're right. He probably is a criminal and mentally incompetent. Forget that. I'm asking you to talk practically. From the Biden team's perspective, you understand how Rob Her, Robert Her, the special counsel, nailed this guy's nuts to the wall. They have no out. They can sit there all day and explain Biden's not mentally incompetent. And then the media is going to go, well, if he's not mentally incompetent, then why shouldn't he stand trial? The report says that he willfully did this. And if he did it willfully, then how come he can't stand trial if he's mentally fine? And if they answer the other way around, ah, he's got some mental issues. He just didn't remember taking the documents. The question obviously is, well, how the hell is he president of the United States if he has mental issues? You think this happened by accident? I told you last week, Robert Herr boxed him in, and I spent the weekend figuring out why. It is now clear that Obama put out, Obama's team put out the hand on this guy. Unimpeachable, folks. Unimpeachable. Let's rewind the tape a little bit. You want the receipts? We always bring the receipts. What do you think I was going to do? Throw that out there and not back it up? I want you to remember this article here from CNN. Again, I use left-wing sources for a reason. It's not an accident. Who is Robert Hearn, special counsel overseeing the Biden document probe? This is in February of uh, 2024, this article. Rob has been around long enough. He knows what he's getting into, former Trump advisor, uh, former Trump uh, deputy attorney Rod Rosenstein, whom her served as a senior advisor, told CNN. I think he, I don't know, I think, is the date on that story right? Let me see where. I think he understands the need to ignore politics and focus on what matters, Rosenstein said. Oh, really? So Rod Rosenstein is the first person. Yeah, pay attention to Yeah, pay attention to the Hold on. Why is Rod Rosenstein going? Chat stirs. Where are we going with this? Anybody know? So Rod Rosenstein, who is an Obama ass-kissing acolyte, who was the probably second or third most important figure in the Spygate Russia collusion hoax. Here, here. Rod Rosenstein says, well, here's my guy. Looky here. I love Robert Herr. Folks, quote, quote, put that CNN thing back up again. He knows what he's getting into, Robert Herr. Oh, yeah. Does he? Let me ask you something. Rod Rosenstein, Deputy Grand Kuba of the Spygate collusion hoax, loves Robert Herr and, no, quote, Herr knows what he's getting into? Let me ask you this. Was Robert Herr the insurance policy if Joe Biden's presidency broke bad? Oh, oh, wait a That's correct. That's pun intended, folks. Was he the insurance policy there? Any thoughts? Oh, look. Look at this part two of the CNN piece. Again, CNN. CNN. Oh, 2023. At the Justice Department, Robert Herr worked with Rosenstein. On special counsel Bob Mueller's investigation, what? Wait, what? Oh. At the Bob, what? At the Justice Department, Robert Herr worked with Rod Rosenstein on Robert Mueller's investigation in a Russia interference in the 2016 election. Oh, I, why did? Why did it? Change into that. Listen, sir. Joe, you got that Sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, those of you who have been following politics, um, uh, Rosenstein was, remember, I believe the FBI director during uh, uh, Trump's administration. 
uh, it was under him that there was the whole lot of a Russia Gate case, you know, uh, like the, the PP tape and uh, uh, all that stuff. So again, uh, I'm saying at times of our day, it is good for us to know what is going on, what is happening. Um, men and women that we have in higher office, uh, we should know what they are about. Um, uh, whether they are, you know, uh, projecting integrity, whether they are working in true integrity, and for uh, for that matter, if uh, they are office, the office that they are holding, you know, uh, they deserve to be there. Um, and then, so when you are exercising your your civil liberty uh, to put someone in office, you know, although the FBI, uh, the writer, and all that those were appointed by the president, uh, but then you know, uh, the, the current one we have when you follow the news, you know that uh, uh, there are a lot of, you, you guys hear a lot about a deep state, deep state. Uh, do So watch the news. Just, I, I also want to encourage you, just don't watch uh, just one news outlet. Uh, read and verify. Uh, just don't get your entire news uh, from uh, uh, TikTok or uh, Facebook or social media platform. Uh, X seems to be, um, but you know, check your news. Uh, you watch CNN, MSNBC, uh, um, you know, ABC, uh, Fox, uh, Newsmax. Uh, you're listening to others on on social media platform. Thank God for today. There are a lot of freelancers, you know, uh, that uh, have a lot of good uh, content uh, that you can come up with. That if you search through uh, your news feed, maybe whether you are on Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, you can find something that you can compare. You know, and say, okay, I've heard it here, but if you just follow, uh, just what, um, uh, let me give you a typical example of uh, uh, Rachel Mada, I believe her name is, I think it's MSNBC. Um, I remember that uh, during one, uh, uh, when uh, they were uh, conducting the, the uh, one of the primaries that the Republicans were going through, and when uh, Trump won, um, uh, the uh, MSNBC host, uh, Rachel Mada, uh, and they have a, a complete panel. And she said that she wasn't going to a show or uh, feature the, the uh, <clears throat> you know, the winning, uh, whatever it was, uh, you know, the, the what uh, Trump was saying by winning at that particular primary, she wasn't going to show it to her audience because uh, it's uh, uh, you know the winner of that particular uh, race was spewing at him, but lies in that she does not want her audience to endure that. Uh, that is an insult, right? As a journalist, the journalist just need to uh, report the news, and then the citizens will have uh, their own you know uh, ability to you know uh, to to. To go through the news and then uh, you know figure out uh, whether what they are telling uh, us whether it is true or not, but she prevent her uh, audience from watching that particular uh, uh, <clears throat> speech. And this is why I said don't get your own news from uh, one source. Watch CNN, MSNBC, uh, ABC, uh, Fox, um, Newsmax, and other you know avenues so you can make an informed decision for yourself. Let's watch. His favorite buddy worked on Bob Mueller's thing. They're working on the whole thing. Weird a little bit. Yeah. Robert Hart knew what he was getting into, folks. How do I know that? I don't. Rod Rosenstein does. He said it. That's his quote. And he worked with Rod Rosenstein on the Trump thing, so they know each other. You think they're pulling a collusion hoax on Biden? I mean, they do that because oatmeal for brains. Someone said in the chat earlier this morning, so we play a drinking game, take a shot every time Dan says oatmeal. Do not. You'll be intoxicated. We don't want to get drunk in the mornings. It's not a good thing. Take care of your body. Alcohol's no good. Okay, I want to pause it here. Um, I want to remind us of why God had to, you know, uh, bring a flood over the um, the entire world, you know. In that particular um, uh, passage, the Bible says, man is continually wicked. 
and evil. And the times we are living in looks like that of uh, the days of Noah again. And we need to be on our knees as Christians. And I want to advise those of you who can run for office, you know, and, and bring some integrity, you know, uh, into the political sphere. Uh, run. If you can run for a school board, do it. Uh, you know, uh, you don't necessarily have to be behind a pulpit, but as a Christian, again, as I said earlier, you are an ambassador of Christ. Uh, you have a fiduciary responsibility and, and uh, divine obligation. You've been trusted. You are the trustee of the gospel. You've been trusted with uh, the proclamation and the declaration of the goodness of Jesus Christ. And we need to be salt wherever we go. We need to be light wherever we go. Uh, no matter what is happening in your life, even when I, before I came to the sanctuary today, something happened in the house before I left. But uh, all those things are going to happen, you know, do not let anything stand in your way uh, to, to, you know, stand uh, for the Lord and uh, wherever you are. I want to leave you here. Uh, let me know. Give me a comment. You know, uh, uh, let me know what you think about uh, the way I'm mingling things up as we go forward. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Uh, if you would, you would want me to bring someone from the political sphere that you would want to listen to, uh, put it in a comment. And let me know. But at all costs, please like the video. Uh, all the uh, upliftment of the teachings I've been bringing to you guys. And I, I, I'm very thankful to 141, uh, 46 or, uh, subscribers. I know that we are, I started from zero, right? It's been a long time, but it's still from zero to here. Yeah, I know that. Uh, so like the video, share the video, and let others also enjoy what you have been enjoying so far. God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. And again, there you have it. You know, I just uh, I just want you to know that uh, it is okay, you know, if you think about politics, it is okay uh, not just to, uh, we are in a world. We are not supposed to be part of it, but we are in it. We can bring light to the world. We can bring, we can go, you know, where there is no salt, you know, our presence should bring, always bring that. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.